stay still. Shop in store and online at cabelas.com. People who have been diagnosed with mesothelioma have many questions. That's why we offer this free book. Call for the free book and receive so much more. You don't have to go through this alone. Make one simple call and help your family. You're skeptical when you call someone from an ad on TV, but you really can receive peace of mind. Call 1-800-300-7112 or go to mesobook.com. That's 1-800-300-7112. I'm Al Roker, along with Jen Carfagno, and we just witnessed history. We just witnessed history. It was a go. Goes are launched on top of an Atlas V rocket. It went right at the end of the launch window, 642. <laughs> and that was the that was the very end. I mean, that was a, after that we would have had to come back tomorrow. Yes. And uh, I I don't know about you, but I didn't have a ticket for tomorrow. <laughs> Me neither. I had to get you know, back. for a, for a for a weather satellite that really has been decades in yes. the making, and certainly you know for at least the last 10 years, really focused development on this satellite, and then to have a delay because of Hurricane Matthew. Yeah. Um, this is a nice ending. Yeah. It really is. It, it was a storybook ending, yes. and we were here with uh, Greg Mant, who is a program manager uh, for Gozar, and Jay Barbary, who is a veteran uh, 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 space reporter for NBC. NBC News. We could have had two better people to watch this with and to give us an insight to what was going on. And, and the, the go, no go decision. I mean, how, Al, when that, when we heard that go, go, we had 27 goes. They had to, to pull hear. all the yeah. systems. Go, go, go. Yeah. And then the launch director said. Go. To go. The big go. Yeah. And go, the cheer all are. along this, yeah. this, uh, a lot this, of excitement. this area just went crazy. And I got to tell you, Jen, I, it's kind of fun doing this with you. The, the, yeah, let's I know take, this, let's take yeah. a look at the launch one more time because it really Seven, is so beautiful. Six. I mean, Al, what was going through your mind? Four, three, two, one. And liftoff of Noah's Goes R. America's most advanced weather eye in the sky, elevating environmental intelligence to new heights and saving lives. He has gone close to control. Future response looks good. Now flying the zero angle attack phase of flight. Body rates look good. Booster has throttled down as scheduled. Response looks good. World program is complete. Body rates controlling down the middle. Listening to the voice of Marty Malinowski. Mach 1. Standing by to pass through Max Q. This is the maximum aerodynamic pressure and, area. And, and the thing is, when mechanical stress on the that you know, uh, Greg said to us because I, uh, I know you reached for your phone, I reached for mine. I have my son Nick here with me, and we were multitasking in a sense because you you want to watch it. You, but you don't want to watch it. You, you don't want to do, experience. You want to experience yeah. that. You know, I, I put my phone up there, but I didn't look at all to see what I captured. Right. I, no. I watched the launch. I felt it though, Al. I mean, there, there was just an energy here, yeah. and it was in it was in the light. It was the sound. It was in the crowd. It was everything. In fact, in fact yeah. we, I guess I didn't realize they were taping us. No, I didn't either. This, because we were, we'd all immediately turned away Two. from the cameras. There's Lit. <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Two million pounds. He's got some, uh, some uh, sensory issues, uh, but even but he, he's excited, he started yeah. looking, and yeah. then he said, "Oh, this is beautiful." I mean, so at this point, when I I, I hit tears in my eyes at yeah. this point, and then you could this. right about there, you could yeah. really feel, and it. you could really hear. You know? I mean, yeah. Oh my gosh, that, that was spectacular. You see, you feel like you, you feel like a really good American out here, right? Yeah. I mean, we just watched a satellite launch carrying our. Greatest new generation, next generation weather satellite to space, Three, and that's going to put us, you know, two, on the cutting edge one. of remote sensing. Now for and just a second, I thought they were counting us down <laughs> <laughs> to the end, to end of the block, <laughs> to yeah. the end of our show. Yeah, <laughs> the launch. Yeah. <laughs> Elevating environmental this, oh, I should watch this again and again. I know. This, I mean, this really is a game changer. And I don't think, you know, you hear that word bandied about a lot. But this really is, in this business, this really is. what we do. And because we do this for you folks. And we won't, we, it won't go into operation. It's going to take at least 18 days to get into to, its to get into, or, and to get to an orbit. 
and then the, the degassing that has right. to occur, which we learned about. Um, it's probably going to be 90 days before yeah. we see the first and even then, the it, first baby picture. Right, so to and, speak, and, and yeah, exactly, kind of a, it, yeah. almost like a sonogram. Yeah. Uh, and then, of course, they'll it'll be op they'll they'll do tests and continue to test and test. And that data will start to be available to some of the most uh, sort of high-end users. Right. And then, and I would, I would bet we'll we'll get a glimpse of it. You know, yeah. it, we'll get a glimpse of it. It'll be operational six months to a year. Yeah, and and we can't wait to start seeing those those. And of course, there's uh, we've got we've got there are a series of four of these. This is the first one. Right. Next one goes S is in uh, February 2018. And then 2019 for T. Mm -hmm. And then there's a, a, a 2024 for you. For you. Right. Uh, so. and, and this is to extend the life of the satellite constellation. Right. Because right now, uh, you know, we've got uh, goes east and west, 13, 14, and, uh, and 15 up there. Um, so spare. these will replace. We've got two. One goes east, one goes west. Yeah. Goes R will replace one of those. We, uh, we're, yeah. we're betting on east. So yeah. Yeah. Uh, So let, we've got a map right now of where the rocket is on the globe. Look at that. Wow. And of course, it's climbing yeah. as well. It's, it's climbing in, in altitude. Uh, so we've, we've got a, you know, what we're another three hours, nearly three hours right. at this point, that it is still being powered. It's got the uh, the Centaur second stage engine has to fire three total times to help get it out to its uh, orbit. Yeah, and it just continues. And I got to tell you, this was uh, a really amazing thing to see. Uh, I, I, I can't even really appreciate what I used to see on television until now seeing it live like this. No, it, it, uh, certainly just being here in the presence, being here at Kennedy Space Center. So much so history. Much has happened, so much history. So, and I got to yeah. tell you, it's been a thrill doing it with you, Jen. Oh, you know, I haven't, I've haven't gotten to work with you in a while. This and this was very exciting. It's very exciting. We want to thank our crews, our producers, everybody who put this all together <laughs> pretty quickly. My son for applauding. Uh, all that. <laughs> Uh, it's been a pleasure doing this special coverage of the launch of Gozar, a launch to history. All right, this is an exciting time for meteorologists and really for Americans everywhere. Congratulations to the Gozar team. Thank you for joining Two, us here on the Weather Channel. One. And liftoff of Noah's Gozar, America's most advanced. Are you afraid of the weather? Something about thunder, it freaks me out. It's, it's weird. The sound, the volume, is one enough to make you jump out of your shoes. Snow frightens me. Thinking about an avalanche is quite scary. It's getting dark. It's getting cooler. That is really creepy. What causes these intense fears? We go into a panic state, and we feel like we need to flee or fight. And what can you do about it? First thing, I'm